Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to use Illustrator's 3D bevel and extrude effect to make a gold wedding band. First, take the ellipse tool and draw a circle. And I'm holding down the shift key to constrain it to a perfect circle and the option key to draw from the center. The circle should have a stroke but no fill and you can see this in the tool panel and the color panel. Now go up to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Check the Preview button, and the first thing you can do is move this cube around in space, and as you manipulate the cube, you can see your changes happening in real time on screen. The extrude depth has to do with how long or tall the shape will be, and I'll leave it at 50 for now. We want a slight curve, so you can pull down this menu for the bevel and scroll down to the rounded setting. Right now the bevel is being subtracted from the object, giving a concave appearance, but we want it to be rounded on the outside, so click this icon to do that. This slider will adjust the height of the bevel, so you can just set it to your liking, and when you're satisfied, click OK. Now the effect will be listed in the Appearance panel with an FX icon next to its name, indicating that this effect is live. This means that you can click on the effect to bring up the Options dialog box again to make changes and adjust the settings. You'll notice some banding in the shading on the edge here, so we'll click in the Appearance panel again and adjust the blending and the lighting. If you don't see this in your dialog box, click More Options at the top. I'm going to increase the blend steps all the way up to 256 for the smoothest blend possible. Then I'll move this light over to the upper left so that the light source is shining from that direction. I'll click the New Light button to add a light and then drag it to the bottom edge and move it behind the object so that we get a slight highlight on the lower right. The 3D effect is still live, so I can change the color of the stroke for a lighter gold. I can also add another effect to it, such as a drop shadow. And now that the shadow is there, the bottom highlight shows up a little better. If a wedding band isn't your thing, you can modify this effect slightly to create a wristband. I'll delete the drop shadow effect by dragging it to the trash icon, then change the stroke color to blue. Click on the 3D effect again in the appearance panel and make some changes. I'm going to change the bevel to the tall round setting, then adjust the lighting. You can delete a light by clicking on it, then clicking the little trash can here, and I'll adjust some of the lighting controls so it's not so shiny. I'll change the rotation a bit, and now I have a rubber wristband that I can add text to in support of my favorite cause. This simple 3D effect has many uses. Experiment and have fun.